don't vape. Don't let your kids vape. My daughter, 17 years old, got sick. She couldn't breathe. Like we rushed her to the ER. The, the doctor comes in, sits us down and says, you have a lung disease. You have what's called popcorn lung. Yeah, that could actually happen. If you or you know someone who's vaping, please share this video. I'm a physician and I've seen many patients, young and old, coming in because of smoking related issues, specifically younger patients who are vaping. They think that vaping is less harmful than smoking and there's certain aspects to that that are true. But in general, if you continue vaping, you could cause something called a pneumothorax or a collapsed lung, contain different chemicals that you inhale and these microscopic chemicals cause inflammation to the small airways, causing something called popcorn lung also known as bronchiolitis obliterans. This is typically something that could predispose someone to severe lung infections as well as a collapsed lung in which they have to go to the hospital and get a chest tube to be able to get rid of this condition. If you're currently vaping, do everything you can to stop vaping. And yes, I do understand that vaping is a better alternative to smoking cigarettes, but long term, it's still not a better alternative than to stop. So please try your best to stop. So in general, my recommendation is to not inhale anything except for air because anything else will have chemicals that could cause damage to your small airways as well as lungs causing irreversible scarring and potentially inflammation that leads to infection so don't vape